Go to Mitchell. I try to, I try to write, write down the question. About the sulfa. About breathing the wine. Does oh, breathing the wine. Does it do anything to the sulfides? It's not going to, it is volatile, but it will go away with time if you open the wine up. But as I explain it, it's going to take about six, seven months. Breathing is not yet that. We heard the market next week. Some blowing air for a straw that they make it really faster. If you really, really want to take care of the sulfites in wine, you really think you may have a problem with it, you're allergic to it, just dump some hydrogen peroxide in it. I remove all the sulfites. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, that'll be great. It actually converts the hydrogen peroxide oxidizes the oxygen of ethanol to acid aldehyde, which is that brown leaf, pumpkin smell that you smell in red wine that's been in age 20 years. So, I'm going to ask one of the hydrogen peroxide, dump it in, no problem. Some of the races, wine classes. Um, it's nice to have wines in there that are really assertive in certain areas that are, for example, a wine that has a lot of the fruit, varietal fruit specific to that character, Cabernet Sauvignon, bell pepper, the butter, the green apple, Chardonnay, um, the, uh, actually, uh, bell pepper, sorry, Sauvignon Blanc. Cabernet Sauvignon would be uh, uh, black currant, Cassis. It can be bell pepper. The sort of block, bell pepper. Open a New Zealand sort of block.